Hello everyone. Hello, hello. We are two minutes late because she was checking an email. I was. I was. Do you want to see what I saw? <laughs> so if you guys can give me a number one to make sure that we are coming good, uh, we definitely appreciate that. And uh, before we even start, happy Easter for everybody. Yes, happy Easter. Uh, we're going to be talking about yeah. something that they kind of bugged me, but we're going to leave that at the to the end of the video today. Thank you, Nancy. Thank you, John. Awesome. I'm getting a number one. Awesome, awesome, awesome. So let's go to the uh, to the chat to say hello to everyone. Yeah. But before we do that, I want to remind everybody to start thinking, well, what are you thankful for this week? Remember, two, two weeks ago, we said we're going to be doing this uh, on a weekly basis and definitely asking you all, uh, what are you thankful for? I think we need to focus a little bit more on the Positive. thankfulness and positive things and uh you know you get enough uh bad stuff and crazy stuff from me throughout the week so yeah <laughs> so let's see who's on yes let's start let's. saying our hello let me go back to the chat i have several windows open so you gotta <laughs> forgive me i have to play around so yarn as always thank you for being here let me maximize this one so i can see everybody and everything. I hope you're enjoying the family <laughs> yarn. And I hope the ham is tastes yummy. Uh, Nancy West, hello, hello to you. Hopefully you have whoop, whoop. Bustelo in hand by now. Where are you? Oh, right, right here. here. Don't touch the screen. I Come with you. Don't touch the screen. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> what are you? <sighs> anyway. You know how they say that with age, you, you regress back to your childhood? This has been ongoing for a long time, y'all. Pretty soon, I'm going to be changing pampers. Oh, Lord. <laughs> That's what I'm doing. My girls are in heat, you yes, guys. Yes. Uh, the, both of the pugs are in heat right now. So, And one yeah. one is Harry Houdini, and she gets out of her pampers all the time. Yes. So, Nancy, hello. Hello Hi to you. you, Nancy. Boone22, we were late because I was checking my email. Yes. I saw the pictures. Thank you for that. I said, I showed Billy, I think the black one is more my spirit animal. <laughs> Look at how grumpy it is compared to the other one. Yep. <laughs> um. Who else? Let's see. Let's see. Keep going down. I'm going down. I'm going the down. Postman, hello to you. Thank you for being here. Hello, hello. I like your picture. What kind of dog is that? A German Shepherd? Uh, I couldn't tell. Uh, coffee guy, happy, happy Easter. Easter! Thank you for being here. You know, I almost or we almost screwed the pooch yesterday. We did, yeah, because I forgot about it. And, uh, oh. and about we, Easter, yeah, yeah. Oh, well, about good being Good Friday, yeah. So, um, she comes and then she's like, So, what are we having for dinner? And uh, before she even finished, she's like, And today's Good Friday. I'm like, Oh. Thank God you mentioned that. And she's like, ah, you forgot, right? I was like, he always yes, forgets. Did.
Sorry, everyone. We lost signal there for a yeah. moment. Oh. Are we back? Live and in color. I think we are, but let us know. Yes. Oh, gosh. I have now both things running, but one has a delay. So, okay, we're back. Awesome. All right. So, okay. So, where were we? We were, I don't even know what we were saying. Oh, about yesterday and almost, um, almost eating meat. Yes. Yeah. So the postman almost woke up through it with strange feelings. I've never seen so, so many, many cloudy days in winter like this one. Yeah. Yeah. Everything's feeling off kilter to me. Yeah. All right. All right. Let me keep going. Robert Bates, hello to you. Oh, you jumped the gun. I did. <laughs> All right. What's about an inch of snow? Ooh. Then winter came back. Yeah, it happened here too. It happened here too. It, it warmed up. It was like, oh, it's spring. And then it was like, mm -mm, nope, not yet. No, and it, it got cold. We got then. some snow the other day. Not a lot. Yeah. Didn't stick, but we did get some snow. Oh, we did get snow. It did get a little colder. All right. Robert Bates. Hello, hello. 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 Thank you for always being here. All right. Am I missing people? Joyce, hello to you. Semper Fi, hello. Oh, look, we almost missed Adam up there. Happy Easter, Adam. Thank you for being here. It's really hard for me to keep up with her little finger. You scrolled way too fast, and you were going to miss him. Stop touching. I didn't touch it. It's like those kids that you told them all the time, stop touching the TV. Mm. But look, it's right there. Stop touching. Oh, God. Patient is a virtue. <laughs> uh, you're going to be cooking for so long. No, now. I'm not. <laughs> Uh, yarn. Uh, well, Semper Fi says he's thankful for family, friends, and four new boomsticks. All right, all right, that's what I'm talking about. I actually had I was gonna clean mine, uh, but I did remove it prior to the live stream because you two, y'all. Nancy too. says above, we almost missed this. Thankful for two days of chopping veggies and canning, and my arms didn't fall off. Yes. Hey, good, good for stuff. you, Nancy. Good, good job. Yarn says, are you going to spay the girls? No. No. Unless we encounter some medical issues or reason to do mm -hmm. so, we are not. We did not do that with Gizzy, our previous pug. Um, you know, I remember going to, to the vet and uh, the dude was like, so you're going to neuter him? And I said, you want me to cut off your balls? He looked at me and I was like, then why you want to do that to my dog? What's wrong with you? Yeah, <laughs> but yeah, unless we have they have issues or anything, um, no, I that's not the plan. So, Moon, Moon says the black one is both. No, no, she's talking about the cows. Oh, oh, the cows. Okay, okay. I thought uh, you were talking about the pugs. No, the pugs are black too. No, the black one is a girl. She's grumpy, just like me. <laughs> I love it. I like the brown one too. Brown one's cute. All right. <laughs> you know, pugs and meat too hope they don't run into a male guinea pig. That's not possible. No, of course not. He's like, you because they're so little. <laughs> My girls are not that little. They're big fluffies. They're, they're little things. They're... It's like you're watching a a roasted At least they're not uh, little coffee yappy. bean At just least running to they're you. They're not little um, yappy chihuahuas. <laughs> no, they don't. They barely bark. <laughs> yeah, it's like imagine that you see two roasted uh, coffee like, beans just girls. jumping around, and that's what you got. <laughs> That's what they are. Anywho. <laughs> All right, we're back. Everybody's saying we're back. Good, good. Awesome, awesome. The 49th state says I made salmon, halibut, shrimp, bacon, so good Jesus, sausage and corn, tres leche chowder. Like all that in one that, chowder? That is a lot. That's a lot. I, I am down for the tres leche, though. But not in the chowder. No, no chowder. Separate. Yeah. That sounds good though. Halibut. Yeah. Shrimp. Everything minus the salmon in the chowder, I would be down for. You know, the our favorite way to make salmon, believe it or not, is in the air fryer. Yeah. I don't know if a lot of people make it like that, but I don't like it when, when you put it in, in foil and just toss it in the oven and just and bake it. And bake it. It's just too mushy. Too mushy, and I don't know, maybe because I wasn't used to fresh salmon before, but it was a much more greasy, nasty taste. Mm -hmm. It just wasn't good, and I didn't like it. But now we make it. And I'm oh, like, we right, make it all the time, it. and, like, it's the bomb. All right. Uh, Randy Brown, hello to you. Thanks for being here. 
Oh, postman, y'all are testing my ability to say stuff. <laughs> I can't do it. I no, I'm not doing it. The one, the do I can't do it. Oh god, it's so frustrating. I'm not gonna say it right, so I'm not gonna do it. Yarn says I'm very thankful for for I'm very thankful I'm up to 64 crocheted chicken sold as of today. Save that is for awesome. A new awesome. Make sure you put the link in the comments so yes. people can 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 check it out. Okay, John. Kim Cluckers, hey, glad to see you. We've missed you. Probably hello, Mich hello. Mich how you say it? Michigander, get gander here. Mich Michigander. Michigander. I don't know. I miss you too, Kim. I miss you too. I'm <laughs> glad you're here today. Uh, Linda, hello to you. Awesome. Dinner at Matt's sister's house. All right. Well, hopefully dinner is good or was good. And you had a lot of yummy food. Um. So salmon barbecue with elder? Alder smoke. It's I don't know what that alder is. Alder is type of wood. Oh, okay. Um. Oh, the 49 say says that yes, that is one pot and there's three milks. We're condensed milk, regular milk, and half and half. Like in the chowder? I I'm getting confused. Hmm. Interesting. That don't sound right, but okay. We'll <laughs> go with it. Hey, food is food, right? You know, believe it or not, I'm not I, I can cook. And uh, I, I, well, I can cook because my grandfather made me learn how to cook. Good thing. Good thing. Um, he will tell me all the time, you need to learn how to cook because one day your grandma will not be there to cook for you and you do not need to depend on anybody. So I learned how to cook and I cook okay. You cook more better than okay. But to me, eating is a, a chore. I don't like, to me, it's like I literally get the plate, it's like, I'm done. I'm out. Done. And this one is like, you don't enjoy the food. I'm like, no, I'm not here to enjoy the food. I am <laughs> I'm here to, so. to get it done and move on. So it's to me, it's a little difficult. That's why I don't, I think I don't like going to restaurants and, and whatnot. I don't know. Oh, that's because you're paranoid. That one too. Yeah. Uh, let's see. I saw Janice hop on. Hello, Janice. Very important reason to be late. And that is okay. Cleaning out the chicken coop. That's right. The temperatures are you getting know, there. You know, before I do forget, I, I did mention the other day that I needed to go to Rudy's house, uh, Alaska Prepper, and check his uh, chicken coop. And I hope you didn't take this the wrong way, but I need to also go to your place and check out yours so I can get ideas from everybody. I, That's yeah, what I do, y'all. I was going to say, I got a craving for, for, like, fried eggs, so I went and bought some eggs, which I should have got some from you and bought some from you. <laughs> but I didn't think about that. And I want me to get me some chickens. So, so you do want the chickens? I do, but not a lot of chickens. You got to make... You, but you, just for eggs. Just for eggs. Yeah. We can do the meat bird. That's your thing. You can do them, do your thing, so, and then do your so thing. So, hold on, hold on. In front of everybody. Yeah. You are saying that I am okay to build a chicken coop. Yeah. Always. Yeah. And I'm not going to hear anything from you saying, you blowing the budget again, Billy. Oh, God. Yeah, I'm going to say that. That I am going to say. I will, that, that, then, I will say it begrudgingly. Because it's gonna be so, more expensive. So 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 so, how big can I go? Can I go the same size of the prepper shed? Can I go bigger, that's big, smaller? What you want me to do? I, I need I need dimensions. That's that's too big. Heat it, not heat it. Heat it because I want my. You can't kill my my egg chickens. They're gonna be my chickens. I just want like two or three. That's it. Project for the year. I am building a chicken cube. And then we can have our meat birds. We're going to need meat birds. We're going to need meat. <laughs> like I have a cow, I'd have one too. But we don't have space for a cow. What do you mean? It... <laughs> you walk right into that one. <laughs> Anyhow. All right. Peter's on. Hello. 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 Uh... <clears throat> See, they got meat chicken. We need to get some There you chickens. go. There you go. Lord knows everything's going to everything is going bananas, y'all. And you know, I, I mentioned this in one of the videos that I, I released the other day. Overall, when it comes to preparedness, the ultimate goal is become a homesteader. I mean, that's you done. Well, once you do, then you don't depend on anybody, which is the ultimate goal. Because if all you're thinking is like, 
I'm gonna be a private because I'm gonna get my my go bag and just half of the hills and whatnot. That's not that has a lot of problems and, involved. And that's not the long term, like re realistic plan. I well, uh, there's gonna be a million plus one people doing right. the same thing. So, so yeah. So Nancy says that eating is necessary and joining it as a, bo a bonus uh, if there is time. I just don't care for it to tell you. You don't. It's just a thing you do. Uh, yeah. To me, it's like, and, I, and I'm and i teaching Laz, uh, the same thing is like, stop playing with your food. Eat your food as fast as you can. The quicker you get done, the quicker you can do other things and have fun. And he 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 enjoys uh, doing that because then we get to play. Yesterday, I was actually uh, teaching how to play with marbles. Uh, the way that we used to play in Cuba, and uh, it was like nine o'clock at night. So this one was complaining because she, she's like, "You guys keep doing the ping, 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 and annoying the crap out of me." And I could feel the movement where I was laying down, and I'm. For me, that's very. I don't know. It just riles my anxiety up, and so yeah, it was. It was not cool for me. I was glad they were having fun though, and he was learning something new. But yeah. Um. Let's see. Oh, Janice, thank you so much. Gail Gordon, hello to hello. you. Three sons who are excellent cooks. Awesome. Excellent. Look, she has a, is that a rooster? That is a rooster. Cool. Roosters kind of scare me because one one attacked me once well, when you, I was. You gotta little. cut out the, the spurs, otherwise they're gonna they're gonna get you. It was not fun. Uh four nine eight says my mom used to be the catering manager of the Hilton Hotel here in the 70s. She and all my family and friends absolutely love my chowder, but I'm a foodie who knows my way around the kitchen. Awesome. That's awesome. I'm not ignoring you, I'm just getting coffee. Coffee, very important. <laughs> very important. Uh, we have been up since early in the morning. I already did Costco run and all of that craziness. Oh god. Let's see. <laughs> Coffee guy says, my wife didn't want chickens. The eggs were gone. Always gone, though. <laughs> uh, my only issue with, with animals is animals, uh, you know, like literally put you in a place that you can't leave. They tie uh, you down. They tie you the down. Property. They tether you to, to the place. And, you know, I like hunting. I like fishing. I like uh, taking drives. I love doing all of those things. And with ha having animals... It's a little hard. So mm -hmm. that's why I'm always like, do I want to do it? Do I not want to do it? Yeah. Um, you know, that, that that's the reason why. It's not because I don't know how to take care of the animals. I mean, I have been dealing with animals and animal poop my entire life. That's It's just the, the fact of like wanting to be able to get out and like the cage. Well, the thing is, because Excuse I know me. what it takes, it's what I'm always reluctant to right. jump into it again. And it's like... And I know once you do, it's like, it's hard to let them go. Really hard. Yeah. So, Janice, uh, thank you so thank much. You. I also have extra chicken. Awesome. Good, 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 good. Awesome, awesome. Thank you. Uh, oh, God, that went too fast. Which one? I don't know, because it scrolled too fast. <laughs> uh, Randy says he's ready to get, get my taxes back so I can buy some stuff. Isn't that crazy yeah. how they take it and then you have to go through the trouble to fill something so they can return your money. You know that there is talks about uh, people are not required by law to pay them. And it's, uh, uh, how can I put this, that, that you two will not ding me for. It's something that you do out of the kindness of your heart. That, that little form that you do. But you are truly not required to do it. Yeah, but they'll come after if you don't. I think I uh, I think I saw a documentary the other day. They are, they are not anymore because there's just so many people saying no mm -hmm. and they don't have the main power anymore. Cool beans. Don't quote me on it. Don't do it. Just, you know, just, you do just, you. Yeah. We're not telling you what to do, yeah. you know. Just saying. Um, so you Gail there you go. I just put 50 eggs in my incubator for more chicken. Awesome. awesome. So, I don't know if I mentioned this, but I am going to mention it again since we're talking about animals. Um, I I hatch, well, I put in the incubator 25 quail eggs. 25? I think 25. Out of the 25, 17 hatch, um, 
out of the 17, 15 made it. Uh, I don't know what it is, quails, when they were little. I mean, you sneeze on them and they die. They're yeah, they're the very truth. sensitive when they're tiny. And out of the 15, seven were roosters. So I have a, I have a, a few roosters ready for for. In freezer camp. Yeah, for, I was gonna cook them, but I, I super. we had a we had leftovers, so I was like, I'm not gonna cook you now. But I'm gonna do. I'm gonna we're gonna be frying some, uh, with uh grouse that I have from, from the beginning of the year. And see how they compare one so to the other. Kim is recommend. Oh wait, postman says I'm thinking about building a chicken coop. I don't buy chicken from a store anymore. I'm buying Cornish hens. Oh, you guys saw uh, what's going on with the chickens now that you bought at the store? They're like strainy and whatnot. They're not real chickens. I don't know what it is. It's just mm -hmm. weird. Mm -hmm. Um. Yeah, Kim Cluckers. That's a type of chicken she's recommending. Gotcha. It, I guess it's a brown chicken. I don't know, but I want me some chickens. Uh, so that is a one thing you're going to have to deal with a in a place that gets awfully hot. Weevils are a problem. Yeah. Uh, and I, I don't want to get overly graphic with it, but mice are a problem. Yeah. Um, and they lay little larvas inside, and then you're going to have little things in the rice and whatnot so and same thing with the corn get a cat i saw the other day the cat don't do anything with that with the mountain with the little mouse chase the mouse away mice. man when the mice get uh, uh <laughs> really said, crazy uh <laughs> they eat the cat i saw a video the other day it's this cat with its <laughs> all, all the way inside the toaster <laughs> trying to reach the bottom of the toaster and the mom, the, the lady was like, there's nothing in the toaster. Get out of the toaster. Yes, there was something in the toaster. It was a mic. <laughs> Hello, Ghosty Ty. Hello to you. Uh, let's see. Robert says, I need a bigger bigger coop. Seven chickens now with six eggs per day. That's good. That's hey, really good. That's not bad. I don't know. I might, I might do something like, I don't know, eight by 20, maybe. I don't know. Depends on how many meat ones you want. I don't know. I, I will see. I, I I gotta I gotta I gotta lay things out first and one uh so. Gail says don't you have dogs they tie you down more than chickens the dogs go everywhere with us they the go, dogs those dogs are traveling pugs those are service <laughs> dogs so they go everywhere with us in fact can you can you hold on I have it in my phone the picture oh. that she sent me oh lord Jesus so you guys can see and I will show you in my phone. Wait, let me see. Let Stop. Me, wait, let me make sure nothing, nothing else shows. God almighty. You look at your phone. No. Let me see. Oh, I think you're good. I hope so. I'm, I'm looking at the picture, y'all. Okay, just bear with me. Oh, I was actually complaining uh, today to D that I was like, I have thousands of pictures in you my phone. You attorney thing. That's what I'm doing. Oh my God. This is not your phone. This is my phone. All right. So this is these are the dogs in a meeting <laughs> on a chair sleeping. And I and D was like, I think the dogs are sleeping in the on the, in the job. Sleeping on the job. That's what they're doing. <laughs> but they go everywhere with us. Um, they're not big anyway, they're just little things. They got big personality. They do. Especially that Luna. Um, let's see. If enough people stood together and said no more, just maybe we could stop the sickness. That's true. The problem That's is true. that not enough people have, I don't want to say the courage, but the ability of saying no. Because yeah. a lot of people depend on that paycheck. And a lot of people cannot turn their bags and say, you know what? No. Screw it. Yeah. I will say this. If... Everyone in the U.S. for one week causing sick and say, no, I'm not going to work. Let me tell you something. A lot of things would change. One week. Actually, you know what? Three days. We more than enough. Imagine if we all stop buying and we all stop going and we all stop buying gas. and we all Oh, God. Just three days. <laughs> and, and what prepper, honestly, what prepper do, does not have the ability to stay home for three days and be like, yeah, <laughs> I can't make it work. 
I, I just can't make it. We have the power, so, which so, is don't exercise. Somebody was joking the other day and <clears> saying, <throat> uh, would would you stay home for like I think it was like a week if we gave you a hundred thousand dollars? And the guy was like, dude, there's people that do that for free. <laughs> like, just let tell me mm -hmm. I can do it. I'll do it right now. Like, come on. So yeah, yeah, we could do it. So would, she came across, uh, yeah. The chicken you were talking yeah. about. Yeah. Ugh. Yeah. We don't know what's in our food, you guys. No. We don't know if it's what's on the label, if it's not what's on the label. We don't know. So in Florida, we had a lot of issues with uh, snakes, too. They had these little 22s with the little uh, BBs inside. They are great. For that. I'll tell you what, great. Mm -hmm. To for pest control. So right. Kim says the Issa Brown are orange and they're a cross between Rhode Island red and something else. They fly up onto me. See, that's what I, I don't want them flying on my shoulders. Don't do that. I don't. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. That's what happened to me when I was little. So ghost no. aside, ask whether we not. No, we do not. Do not have a stroller for the dog. No. I think that Nova would highly enjoy a stroller. But no. But no. They they, they walk can walk. Everywhere. Yeah. Uh, and, and if they don't walk, they get dragged. <laughs> no, they don't get no. dragged. All you have to do, they are trained to, you know, be in front. Uh, and when I whistle, the way that I whistle, they stop immediately and they put their butts on the ground. I mean, they, their training is not complete, but no. they are, they're getting there. Uh, yarn says her ham is done. Go enjoy that ham. Awesome, awesome. Thank you for being here. Uh, Boone says if no person worked buying or and buying anything for a week, it would speak volumes. Yes, it would. Yes, yes, yes it, it would. would. Yes, it would. So let me go. Let me go to a few topics that I want to discuss with y'all since we have been talking for twenty-seven minutes now, and uh, let me share a couple of things. So, so developments of the week. Yes. Uh, D actually asked me to put a couple of things in here. Uh, so I'm going to be turning things over to her. And she wants to talk about the eclipse and whatnot and why they're all uproaring and, you know, like craziness and whatnot. The only thing that I want to mention here is be aware that it is said, quote unquote, that the National Guard will be deployed on that day. So my thing, when I kept hearing about the eclipse and, oh, my God, all these things are going to happen the day of the eclipse, which is Monday, April 8th, and you should prepare and you should have food and you should have a communication plan and you should do things early in the day. They're so adamant about putting all of this out there. Why? Why bring attention to it? Yeah. What are they distracting from? That was one of the things. Well, obviously, I'm I'm concerned that yes, yeah, something may happen, right? That day. But but what else are what else will happen that there we're being distracted from? Do you guys have any thoughts on that? It's it's like like the old uh magicians used to say, look over here so you don't see what I'm doing over mm -hmm. here. So it's just yeah. it, there it was so out there in the news and the media that just made me think like mm, what's really happening here well i compare this with uh what happened um you know some time ago now i mean with the whole plan thingamabob i mean i told d i was like when this thing hits hits and the, the politician starts talking about it it's when things are gonna get bad sure enough sure enough I never seen anything like it, and um, you know they use any excuse to take something away from us. And I mean, people are like planning trips to go, you know, go to be in a city that it's gonna pass through, mm -hmm. and like these big parties. And I'm just like, um, I even asked somebody, "Are you sure you want to travel during that time?" And they're like, "Yeah, it'll be fine. We're gonna be at some whatever RV camp. It'll be." And I'm like, mm, "Okay, I don't know about that." To me, having so many people in one place is a recipe for disaster. Right. That is just me. Uh, when you have congregations like that, bad things will happen. Because well, there's always have, somebody. 
they're going to act stupid. But think about it. Yeah. In a, in a let's say communications fail, you mm -hmm. can't get to your bank. You can't buy gas. You can't, you're stuck wherever you're at mass chaos. And then you add times a hundred, 200, whatever the amount of people are, it's going to be hysteria. So, and of course, during those times, bad things happen. People react poorly yeah. and do stupid things. Absolutely. And, and, you know, Talking about reaction and whatnot, this is another topic that D asked me to put in here. Um, this is this is uh, made up uh, people the wrong way. Don't take you, you got to understand that this is a topic that has me riled. Yeah, and it has me riled because because it's really hitting home for me right now. I have to pay close to ten grand. In premium and deductible just to have insurance just to continue to pay a copay there's many of Americans without insurance or many of Americans trying to get disability because they cannot work they cannot therefore have insurance and they get denied and they're stuck with nothing mm -hmm. while here you have and I saw the video of Two freaking ladies getting interviewed. Oh, yeah, we have Medicaid and we get this card that we can just go to the uh, store to buy whatever we need. And we're living in the hotel. So they come and they, they clean our rooms every day. We get maid service every day. And we have, so they have food, they have housing, they have insurance for them and their kids. They've been here over seven months. No job, no nothing, depending on the government. Why, if we have to give to them, do we not have to give to the American people? I just don't get it. And then I'm forced to have insurance, even though I could pay out of pocket, because I might as well pay out of pocket. But no, I'm forced to have insurance through my employer, because I don't even know why anymore. Which means that money, instead of going in my pocket, nope. is going into the garbage. No, it's going to some uh, somebody way up top that needs to pay for some the insurance million dollar house. Yeah, exactly. It's a pyramid I, I just, scheme. I just, I just oh, what do y'all? I don't know. What do y'all think? About the thing it? is that the 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 way that the system was supposed to work is us paying taxes, giving it to the government, the government providing essential service to us. The government, instead of providing essential service to us, what it does is it hires a private company, it pays the, the company, and the company charges us. So we're getting, ta we're getting the short end of the stick, meaning that we have to pay twice. Mm -hmm. What the hell? We need to take out the middleman. That's what we need to do. So that's that's uh, one thing that uh, D put in here. And uh, I just, I'm just. It, it just blows me. I saw that. In, don't, listen, they have no intention of going to find a job. They have no intention of doing. What could they do here? Not knowing a language, not having an education, coming with their kids. What could they do? They could probably clean, right? Do custodial work. Uh, I don't know what else. I don't, I don't know at this point. The My thing is, is that there are no jobs for Americans, not, and then <clears throat> they're coming over. And the thing is, and this is this is true, this is no BS, and I'm telling you this because I know this for a fact. You're going to have 10, 15 people living in the same place. 10, 15 people working minimum wage that a lot of those minimum wage jobs are supposed to be for high school students, but they make it a career because, well, it's a lot more than what they get paid in their country. And what they do is, Everybody, those 10, 15 people pay for that rent, for that those utilities. So talking about $200 a head, maybe a month, and the rest, they send over mm -hmm. back to whatever they came from. Mm -hmm. They do that for several years. And this is if, if they have papers. So a lot of times they work under the table, cash money, no taxes. They don't pay taxes. Uh, or they get fake papers. So at the end of those five seven years to whatever time it is they pick everything up they head back. They back the thing is during that time then they took away jobs from our children's and our children don't get to learn what it is to have a job because those jobs were meant for people to 
begin their their career, begin knowing what it is to work, but they take it as a they go in there and they take it as a career because well they don't have any skills and that's what they do. And unfortunately, that is the truth. And a lot of people don't want to see it, don't want to understand it, and they refuse to see it. But I'm telling you, it is the truth. And I I'll 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 play devil's advocate and say that there are people that do come here for a better life that come to work that bust their butts working in the fields especially and get paid nothing and are taken advantage of because that too so there is the flip side and i i get that but right now the people that are coming into this country are not those people that want to work hard to provide for their families at the at end home. of the day if you came here with outside the proper channels you are breaking the law plain and simple it does not matter uh what the intentions are or what they were or anything no you are breaking the law do you want me if you if i was if this was in your country do you think it would be okay if i go into that person's house if it was the reverse and no. then i'm like i lay down in, the, in their couch and put my feet up and be like feed me i'm here to stay no they will kick my butt and throw me out. Yeah, they will. So how come it's okay for them to do that and for me not to do that? This is my house. What the hell? Yeah. Now, and I hear this before. Oh, how dare you say something like that when you're an immigrant? Because I am one, I can say this. Because I came here the right way. I follow the rules. So what the heck? Why can't I real? I mean, it's a big, it's a bigger conversation, and it's, it's, uh, there's much more going on, right? It's not just face value; these are immigrants coming over. Illegal. Well, I'm just saying, it's not just that. This is not what this is, right? This is what's happening right now. Mm -hmm. uh, I think the repercussions and the plan is much bigger, and the impact is going to be much bigger. But it's, it's, it's frustrating. It's frustrating to watch. It is very frustrating, and in. A you know, and the frustration adds up when you when you see things like this, like the cargo ship that collided with the uh, Baltimore Bridge. And, you know, the officials say, and I'm going to put a clip so you guys can see it, because uh, I was like, what? This is what our president said. And we're going to rebuild that port together. That this was a terrible accident. At this time, we have no other indication, no other reason to believe there's any intentional act here. How the hell do you know whether or not, you, you know, it's like, are, are you out of your mind? Well, they can't They're, call You're it hiding a, something. They can't call it a, a I, can't, I don't know if I can say the word. No, you, you can't. So I can't, yeah. So, so they can't call it what it is because it really isn't that, right? So when I'm seeing this, it reminds me of a favorite, uh, a famous movie. It goes along the lines. So isn't that the same? Are you talking about? Yeah, it's like, a lot of distraction. Craziness. I saw, I don't know if you've seen another cargo ship in Turkey. There was a crane misfunction and the ship went into the crane like it would be affecting mm -hmm. uh, also shipping and the ports and stuff like that there so i don't know you know the funny thing is that this guy comes comes out saying and yeah yeah we're gonna flip the bill but why would you flip that let me ask you this let me ask you this if your neighbor gets into an accident would you go and knock in your neighbor's house and be like hey man i got you I'm gonna pay for that car that you just lost. You will never do that unless you have something to do with it. They have, yeah. I, that's what I was gonna ask. Is like, what? When do they determine? Oh, the federal government's gonna cover something because not in all cases of an accident or disaster do they do that. So why in this case are you rushing to say, oh no, we can't say it was this. There's nothing to indicate that it wasn't an accident. And, oh, we're going to pay for it to get rebuilt. Yeah, you know, we're, we're going to do that. Yeah, there's something going on in here. In and the meantime, is that the intended outcome? That disruption is the outcome? And you got what you wanted, so now we're going to fix it. But hey. But it's going to take us a minute. So let, And not only that. Not only that. You know, to top things up. 
Mr. President said yesterday that tomorrow, Easter is not okay. Easter. We're going to celebrate now. March 31st is going to be the official this right here day. Does anybody we're not going to we're not going to celebrate Jesus Christ anymore. No. No. We're going to celebrate this the timing. It's just Does anybody know why that day I asked you that this morning and it's we didn't depending have a chance on to depending look. on the moon and, and whatnot. No, no, it doesn't no, no, fall no, no, through no. the same why day. Why this? Oh, on the 31st of March. Because that had been uh, their day that they started their movement. And oh, whatnot. okay. Got yeah. it. Got it, got it. And if you want to read about this, I left links okay. in the description. So you guys can go in there and read and get <laughs> as frustrated as I get. Because this is insanity, to tell you the truth. So, so there's a lot going on, but those are the few things that boiled my blood this week. Um Let's see. I want to see what you guys have to so, say. So, I, I, I tell you all. I mean, this is this is. Uh, I want to hear what you all say. Honestly, all right, go down a little bit. Right, let me go down. Uh, whoa! Don't go too fast. So, so D four and I. Uh, somebody else is telling our government to reduce our meat consumption. Well, guess what? I will continue to eat meat. I'm a carnivore. Thank you. Come yeah. <laughs> Kim says, just don't hook your dog's leash to your trailer hitch. <laughs> Especially not Luna. Yeah. She she thinks she's a sled dog. Uh, let's see. Ghosty Ty says, I'm with you, D. Makes sense. Postman says, give the people 100 different things to think about so they don't see what's really going on. Yeah, Absolutely. It's pure distraction and we, mm -hmm. to the point of overwhelm, right? Um, So that you don't you don't catch what they're actually doing. Mm -hmm. uh, hi, Butch. Thank you for hello, being hello. here. Boone says, never, ever in my life has there been these types of warnings. And, you know, folks may choose for that to ignore the warnings, but the warnings are there. Well, no, they're talking about with the eclipse. And then Coffee Guy says, something's I, up. I've been through three other eclipses. I've been... Through four volcanic eruptions, two in Alaska, one in Washington, one in, and didn't get much time. That's my whole thing. I'm like, why? I've heard of eclipse before, and I never once have they said, "Oh, do do your doctor's appointments early, get cash out of the bank because your bank might fail, or communications might fail." I don't. Why? What? Yeah, and then they're tying it back to all these biblical things and the last eclipse that went whatever seven years ago. I think there's more to it. Um. <laughs> Robert, I don't think they're gonna go. It's gonna go through here. No, but imagine Luna with glasses. No, no, but that would be hilarious. Uh, Adam says they're gaming the system. Yes, they are absolutely at our expense, and not only we our are, expense, but our kids. We are justifiable collateral damage. Yeah, that's what we are. That's what we are. And they don't care about us. They never have. They never will. We are slaves which is a different name yeah. instead of now being slaves we are law abiding citizens in california many people get medicaid to help them with health insurance health insurance is mandated in california and many have gotten notices that they no longer qualify for this if they make over 1700 wow wow Rent in California are fifteen hundred a month for a studio or one bedroom apartment. That's disgusting. Yeah. So uh, we saw one person getting paid cash, then uh, handing cash to illegal farm workers in Arizona. Those illegals stood in line to send money down to family in another country. Yeah. And then you see all of that, and it's like, this is my country's money, and you sending it elsewhere. How the heck are we going to be doing good when? Our money instead of staying staying here and getting our economy back up again is being sent out elsewhere. Well, that, and that, but that's why I said like what immigration was before when we were coming up, or even I would venture to say even ten years ago is not what is happening now. They see they're calling it that, but it's not the same. Okay, they're not coming here with the same purpose. Before they would come, they would work. Yes, they would send money back home, but eventually they would either go back home. Or they would move their families here and they would 
work and all be tax paying citizens. It's it's not the you same. Know, it's uh, not it's the not same anymore. type of people. Kim says I got cut off Medicaid because I will make eleven dollars too much. Now I have a nine thousand dollar doctor boy. My scripts cost over five hundred a month, and I don't get them all. I reuse my diabetic meals five times, not once. I am so sorry. Kim. And uh, and people ask me or, or tell me all the time, Billy, this is not Cuba. This remember- is where my dad used to do. My dad, the, the person who raised me. He was diabetic. Uh, rest in peace. He will have to reuse. Because he didn't have for more? For No, because they would not give him more. Right. I remember, you just made me think of him. I had a client once, an elderly man, who, I mean, at this point, he's like retired, barely any income, applied for food stamps, and they gave him, he said, D, they gave me $16 for me and my wife. What is $16 going to get me? A gallon of milk, maybe? You know, nothing, nothing. I mean, worked all his life, Mm -hmm. busting his butt, and now he needed help, and that's what. But it's better to get rid of somebody. I don't get it. I don't understand. I don't, I just, I don't. Yeah. I don't understand. I don't know what that means. I don't know what that is, Nancy. Clouder, and I don't know what that means. They're smacking, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, the thing is, will do. I know, and the thing is, nobody's willing to to buck up and say, "I'm not going to do this anymore." You know, because they're afraid of the consequences. They are afraid of the consequences, and you know, this is it. This is the problem here. <coughs> we are all so inclusive. We are all so accepting. You know what? I recognize you're a human being. I do not give a hoop what you do when you close the doors at your home. I don't care. You pushing that agenda, that mindset into me, that becomes a problem. That becomes a problem. And we have to flat out say enough, no more. I don't have to, I don't have to accept your lifestyle. I accept that you are a human being, but that's it. Uh, we got an ad coming in soon. We do? Where's yeah. this? Okay, so so an ad is coming in in about 40 seconds or so. Just be aware Hentai. of that. Hentai. Uh-huh. Yeah. And uh, let's see which one. Um, I, I I lost. Uh that we'll go with Robert once we come back. Rebuild things after an accident. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Let's talk about that. Yeah. Insurance. Yeah. So we have a lot of rabbits here and and all that. Um. Ooh, rabbit, yummy. Mm. I have seen some rabbits run over at the road. <laughs> and I'm like, hmm, I'm starting to see a few. So this may not be a bad thing. So hopefully we get our rabbits uh, go up again because honestly, yeah, it's getting to that point. So if you uh, are listening to a Wait, commercial. Don't go up. You're missing <clears throat> stuff. Am I missing stuff? Yeah, you're going too far out. I'm okay. So I want to say hi to Kato74, Kato, who's in Florida. Hello, hello. Um. So, yeah, insurance used to be about helping to have so that you can <coughs> heal and recover and rebuild, but it ain't that no more. No, uh, insurance, like everything else, is no more, no less than it's a pyramid scam. scheme. It's a scam. The one in the top is the one who's going to get paid. And everybody else, which is us, are the ones who are going to get paid, who are going to pay into it. Mm -hmm. And uh, if we, and this is the thing, and this is, if you don't know this, if you get really sick and you depend on your insurance, your insurance will dictate what the doctor can do or cannot do. How the heck can an insurance company Tell my doctor what can they do and what can they not do. Yep. It is dictating your health care. It is dictating your life. Your life. So it's better, in my opinion, not to have any. Go to the emergency care. Take care of me. And that's it. So recently, At least you save the money. Recently, I had to fill a prescription. And they said, oh, you have to meet your deductible. So it's going to be, seven, I think it was $70. And... Then I had been sent a discount card, and they said, oh, it's going to be $40 with the discount card. But you can't bill your insurance if you use the discount card. 
So I said, well, screw it. What do I have insurance for? I don't mm -hmm. care about the damn deductible. Use the discount card. Uh, it's, it's getting to be pretty ridiculous. Um, hold on. So Harrington family says, Clouder and is it Pevin strategy is something to keep in mind when the government is spe spending trillions of dollars we don't have. Well, they had um, the printing press. Wait, she she explained. Oh, she says here, uh, it, it they were a Marxist couple that said you crashed the system Ooh. of the country to take it over. Well, what do you think is happening here? Huh? Well, it, here's <laughs> here's the thing. In order for you to create, you first have to destroy. Yep. These people want to create something. That something may not be what you and I want, but they want to create something. And in order for them to create it, they have to destroy whatever remnants of system we have right now. This is a great experiment. The, uh, the, the United States of America has been the greatest experiment in the history of humankind. However, ever since the very beginning, unless the we, the people, don't fight for those rights, them in power will continue to erode our rights and mm -hmm. will continue to take away what is ours and if you don't honestly put your pants on and tie your belt and say you know what it is enough buttercup yeah let's dance nothing will ever change and people are not willing no, to dance not. nope they're not because Netflix, Hulu, and all of those things. All our creature comfort. And, you know, eating uh, chips in the, on the couch and watching movies all day long is a lot more uh, comfortable and a lot better than actually saying, you know what? Come and let's dance. Let's see what happens. Well, they don't want to disrupt their comfort, right? Nobody wants to step outside their comfort. At the end of the day. But at the end of the day, that in order to survive how let me ask you this how does a bully understand you have to whoop the living hell out of that bully say, give them a taste of their own medicine exactly That's and this government way. is sure that uh we can do whatever we want to our people to to the to the law well, and they, they usually say it, that that we will listen and we will do whatever they want us to do you know why i always have a big problem when people say we are law by the citizens because that to me equals you are a slave you following what your master is telling you yeah you should put in different words prettier words words that are saying that you are a good person well, who's to say no. that law is the right law that thank, I you. Follow? thank you thank you just thank you thank you thank you mike Thank, Thank you for you that. Very much, Mike McDonald. See, I can say that name. Yes, and you know, Peter, you're right. Insurance are all about making it the insurance, insurance company's, company's money. money. Absolutely, yeah. they're Our not here. The same thing. Yeah, they're not here to help us. They're here um, to screw us. Boone says many farm pharma companies will freely give your medications if you're low income. Um. Having worked in the mental health industry, I can say there is a lot of discount programs. Uh, but not necessarily free programs anymore. And and they stop giving free samples, okay? Because God forbid they come and they give you a damn pen and a and a pad to write on. That was seen as a manipulation. So we gotta stop doing that. And we can't give the doctor free samples. That the doctors get, will get to the, the doctors will give to the patients because so yeah, it's a yeah, yeah, there's that. <laughs> Exactly. And all of that, while well, they get free housings and thousands of dollars to illegals. Exactly. <sighs> what other good stuff I, I has been going on? We retire. I want to retire. Yeah. I want to, I don't know. I don't know. It just, it's getting harder and harder and harder every day to, to deal with it. Uh, and it's not just the big stuff. It's you know, it's hitting home from every from every side. It, the thing is that you see things. We try to report things. We try to find a solution, but the solution is minuscule to none existing, versus what they are doing to us. And then the 
I'm fearful of like the impact that all these things that are happening are going to have that are going to be long term or things that we haven't even thought of in terms of impact for us, for our kids. Like I think about everything that happened, you know, with the C word and how many people died as a result that maybe didn't need to die. You know, now they're coming out saying, oh, the the solutions they were trying to give for it were worse off and made it worse than what it could have been. The problem is, and I'm just like they don't care. They're just they don't care. My 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 thing is that uh, we all know what's right and what's wrong. And when when we we choose to stay quiet and not fight, we are becoming part of the wrong. Because let's say, for example, and let me let me close the terms. I was going to get some coffee, but let me close. Let's say, for example, if you are in a relationship and you are being abused every single day and you choose not to move or, or fight back, you are still making a decision, a decision that may not only impact you, but may impact your children's to say something. So by you not doing or saying something, you are becoming part of the problem because God almighty, that person who's hitting you, should be on the six feet on the on the ground. That's all I'm gonna say. That is wrong. Don't do it. Just call the authorities. Don't just don't do it. But I'm just, just saying by us not speaking, by us being acceptance of what Biden just did. What you know, because we, we have to we have to be inclusive, you know, because you know Do we me. have to we have to celebrate from now on March 31st as a why are there so many holidays now? Like there weren't so many dang holidays when I was growing up. Now there's like the most random weird things that never were things. But again, my problem is people don't speak up anymore. No, they don't. Before, well, because they don't feel like they can. They don't feel like they them voicing their opinions are are gonna have any sort of impact. It don't matter what you feel. The the, the problem is you have to make it. You have to make noise. Do you think that all of these people got where they are? They got to get everything they wanted because they stayed quiet? No. They were the loudest. They were the ones up there with signs, rainbows, and unicorns. And we're coming after your children. Saying those things. I'm not playing. I'm, I'm telling you. That that's what they say. What happened, yeah. They got everything they want. But us, because I don't have time for that crap. I got to go to work. I got to pay my mortgage. I got to pay taxes. I got to do this. But guess what? You are financing those people. You are financing those people. Those people are there now because of you. Because you chose not to say anything. Because you chose to stay quiet. Because you chose to go to work every day and staying quiet and, you know, keeping your head down was worth more than fighting for what is yours, for fighting for your freedoms. It sounds harsh. It really does sound it harsh, does but sound I want to bring it to I'm you. I'm over here thinking like, yeah, but then there's people that got to feed their kids and pay their bills and survive. And they can't. That That's where people are at right now. That, that's the reality. That's where people are at right now. So what do we do? Do you, do you, do you yell and scream and whatever? Yelling and screaming doesn't cost I'm not anything. Saying, I'm not saying yelling and screaming. Like, I'm just saying, like, do you do you try to fight for what you believe is right? If you don't fight today, you will be a slave tomorrow. Get ostracized and get criticized and, and get fired because Lord knows that's what would happen to me. Eventually, you will find a place where you belong. But you need to have the courage to go through. This is the home that, that what is this country? Uh, uh, the home of the brave, the home of the, the free. Damn it, I always forget the damn saying. The land of the free. The home of the brave. Where are the brave? They're nowhere to be found at this point. Or are they retired? Are they all retired? They're damn. all dead. <sighs> um, yeah. I I don't know which way to go anymore. I really don't. I'm not seeing an outside. I'm not seeing a... At this point, I want to be adversarial just for shits and giggles. Well, you want to be adversarial because of anything. I mean, you like 
uh, getting into confrontation with people for being a, such a little person. You have Napoleon complex. I, no, time. I just I don't like what's right is right. This is a good point. People not need to stop bringing their slaves. Credit cards equal change. I mentioned this. Credit equal. Wait, what? Credit equal slave chains. Yes. I, I mentioned this the other day. If you are, um, if you have a credit card and you have that credit card just in case that something happens, because, well, this is in case of an emergency. If you use a credit card, then you're gonna be worse off afterwards because not only now you have to pay that credit card, but you have to pay that interest. So what they tell you growing up. Have a credit card in case of an emergency. I mean, they bombard you. That is you. a lie. They bombard you when you're a teen and you go off to college with credit cards. Why? Because, because they want you to be a slave. You were never told no, they the repercussions. They don't teach you that. All That's right. the problem. What do you guys think? I'm rambling on about all this stuff, but I mean, because it really just it really gets to me, and I I don't know what I can do about it. Yeah. So. Postman says all it takes is enough people to stand together and the government will fail. Absolutely. Are we doing that enough? Are we I don't not think we doing are. That enough? I don't think we are. Or, I mean, we... D I seriously don't think we are. Let me let me well, give you an example. We do it and then we end up in jail. No. No, 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 no. We, we are not standing together at all. At all. The American people are not standing together at all. And I can, I can give you... A very simple example. The last video that I post about firearms. You shouldn't have seen how many comments I have to remove because people were being nasty. How many comments were restricted because people were using foul language. People cussing others just because they didn't agree on the particular uh, caliber. It was insane. This is just in a, on a topic, and I specifically put a post saying, hey, be nice to each other, be nice to each other, be courteous to others, and, and yet I have to remove over a dozen comments of people being nasty. And you think there's going to be union when people can't even talk about a simple topic of a, a, a caliber? We are... Yeah. F up. Yeah, we are. We are. And we have to recognize that. We really have to recognize that we are in a bad situation fixing to get worse. Honestly. Honestly, I don't see how can we bounce back. I try to see it. I try to analyze things. I try to give you examples of things that happened to me in Cuba. I, 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 I honestly, I swear to God, I do honestly try to see the lie at the end of the tunnel. But I see the lie at the end of the tunnel with a lot of red on the walls. I'm being honest with y'all. Yeah. All right. What are you guys saying in the chat? The Harrington family says retirement is great. Oh, you went ahead of me. Oh, okay. sorry. Ram I don't know that one, fat man. He says, retirement is great if you can do it. It's time to stop working for others. If you lose a bit of your soul every day, you go to work. So true. Absolutely. So, so true. Absolutely. That's why. It's not worth it. It's not worth it. I still wake up early in the morning every, every day. But the idea of, oh, my God, I don't have to deal with none of the politics. I don't have to deal with nonsense and whatnot. Whatever I do now. I come here, I look at the news, I talk to you all, uh, I put the videos, then, you know, I I do my thing the way I want to do it. I drop off last of school. Um, you know, do the things that I want to do. And it's like, why in God's name I didn't do this earlier? Why? And a lot of folks do believe that I have to I have to keep on working baby, because if I don't do it, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Social security. I've, if I've, you're depending on social security, you're gonna yeah. be in a world of hurting. I've I've heard people say, unfortunately, oh, I have to work because my financial advisor tells me I need to work two more years to Heck. be able to live the life. I guess I guess the, with whatever however standard of living they want to live. And I'm just thinking, man, are you even gonna make it those two years? Like you know what my standard of living is? 
I shit in an outhouse. It's awesome. It's not worth it. It's not worth it. Work what do you mean it's work. not worth it? It is no, no, totally no. worth it. What I'm saying is it's not worth it to work two more years to then say, what are you going to enjoy after that? I, it's funny. Uh, I, I got some, uh, I got an extra magazine today for, for my Glock 29. And uh, I got like three quarters back. And uh, and I and I told you, I was like, yes, yes, I can go get water now because I, I refuse to pay in dollars because if you pay in quarters, it's a lot cheaper. Uh, because it's a time thing, not a gallon thing. Water hack. Yeah, and uh, and and she she started laughing. I was like, it's the little things. I was like, it's my money. I ain't giving it away. So like how that. much? How much? Would you pay if you paid using dollar bills? So if you pay uh dollar bills for 150 dollars, it's five dollars. If you pay with a credit card, is seven dollars. If you pay with quarters, it's two dollars because it's a time thing. You put the quarter, let it finish, put the other quarter, let it finish. Two dollars, eight quarters will give me 150 dollars. Isn't that crazy, you guys? But that's what the A it's crazy, but we didn't know that until recently. What do you mean? I've been doing that for a while now. I mean, yeah, for a while now. But before <laughs> when we first moved here, we didn't know that. Nobody told us that. Because they don't tell you. So you see what Our I'm saying? Neighbors are slacking. Yeah. Just saying. Anyways, guys, we have been here for over an hour now. Uh, it is Saturday. Yes. Tomorrow is Easter. Enjoy your family time. Yes. I know I rambled a lot. I'm sorry. A lot of things pissed me off. I, I do want to encourage everybody to... To give things, sit down, look those around you, and give things, and be glad that you are alive. Okay, because yeah. a lot of times we do forget that we were put here for a reason, whatever that reason may be. But we have to be thankful. Uh, before we go, yes, we didn't all, we didn't go through the what are you grateful for? We did. Only a I few did. people shared. Well, that's so. Maybe how about you share what you're looking forward to this week? Anybody want to share that? I want to be happy for somebody. What are you looking forward to? Except for some good food. Happy Easter. Easter. Some ham. Happy Easter. Oh, be safe. Be well. I give thanks. I'm not the only one thinking this way. Yes. 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 So. No comments? No comments. Okay. No problem. All right, guys. Enjoy your family time. Mm -hmm. Be with the ones you love. Be safe. And we will see you next Saturday. Yes. Enjoy and make sure to give thanks. Yes. So have a good one. And we shall see you in the next one. Bye, guys. Bye-bye, everybody.